Welcome to another video. We made it to Hollywood Studios. We're gonna go do, uh, we're gonna get in line for some Starbucks. Yeah. The longest line of the day, hopefully. Well, it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, we all need some extra coffee and maybe some snacks. And then we're gonna hit some, uh, check the wait times and go from there. We got, yeah. At 7 a.m. we got Rise of the Resistance. Uh, Tyler uh, and I were competing in bed. We're like, boarding group 62. We got it. He was like, I got it. I got <laughs> I it. I got it. But you know what? I wasn't on the Wi-Fi. Don't know if that makes a difference or not. I turned that off too. Well, we've heard that if you we've do. Heard, yeah, because the, the, the Wi-Fi at Disney surges. Yeah. So I don't know. It's, it, it's worked twice because on the, the other day we got it at 1 p.m. And it was no Wi-Fi and today, so. Yeah, so. So far, so good. I don't know if it makes really maybe, a difference or if it's just luck. It, maybe not. I don't know. Correlation is not causation. <laughs> We had to stop really fast and Cher got a picture at the dark room because she's a photographer. If you're in the greater Rhode Island area. <laughs> it's all, of all of New England. It's all so close. She's a photographer, so she got a picture. And she's an icon. We were saying, I feel like there's Nikon people and Canon people. She's a Nikon person. And uh, so she got a picture in front of the, it says around the corner, like sponsored by Nikon. <laughs> Thus far, we've avoided the 80 minute Starbucks line, but today we're indulging and in getting some Starbucks. And we have moved from there to here in 28 minutes. No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. It's been. This is smugglish. <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah, it's been a long line, though. We were admiring how cute these little Mickey shaped cookies are. Michael just pointed out, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's adorable. But I'm pretty sure we're getting some Sammies. Gigi wants a cake pop. And we're definitely getting some coffee. Oh my gosh. Aww. I know. I really like the pretty go. The Hollywood Tower Terror. And then, that uh, is really Star cute. Wars, that is so cute. Oh. Dang it. Oh yeah, because the Beauty and the Beast show that's not running. Ugh. So I was thinking about getting the ice shake and espresso, but I think I'm gonna do the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. We're gonna do, like I said, breakfast sandwiches too and get some ice water. Usually Anywhere in Disney, if you walk up and ask for ice water, they'll give it to you free. I think, I don't know if it's like a rule, but I think it is because it's hot and you know. So we're gonna all get some free cups of ice water with it, which would be good. And then the little fans we got that they had originally, Michael and Cher had originally gotten on Amazon and we were like, oh my gosh, these are way better than what we have. We ordered one to our resort and finally got it the other day and you can fill it with a little bit of water to make the air cool. So we'll fill that as well with our water, which would be because it's not too hot yet, but it's gonna be there. I can feel it in my mouth. Nom, side note, this is absolutely delicious. Highly recommend. It's sweet, but not too sweet. So it's the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Sweet and she cream. asked if I wanted the vanilla sweet cream foam on top. And I'm like, what's the difference? So I was like, yes. So yes, all of that recommended together. You got straight cold brew? Uh, cold brew with an extra shot. And also this is the best coffee I've had all trip. I love me some Joffrey's, but like as far as cold brew goes, this is that's your favorite cold brew. I like Joffrey's hot coffee though. Joffrey's I like hot their is one of my, yeah, it's so I good. like their iced coffee too, but I like it with flavor. I've tried so it like a few times, like I don't know, there's something different about their hot coffee versus their cold brew coffee. Interesting. Um, it almost tastes like there's like a flavoring in it that I don't care for. Anyway, yeah. And then I got a uh, double smoked something nonsense sandwich. Looks um, real good. Mm, this is really good. How's yours? Like on the real one. Oh How's, my gosh, it's perfect. It's really good. Mine's quite tasty. All right, we're gonna go do Muppet Vision 3D. I love this ride, and there's never a wait for it. It makes me so happy. I have uh, Jim Henson. There's a biography that was written on Jim Henson. It's been on my list forever, and it's moving up very quickly on my list. I just love the sense of humor of the, the Jim Henson, and there's there's just so much cool history with the Muppets, so uh, I'm definitely gonna read that here soon. All right, so uh, we did the Muppets Vision 3D, which I just love. It's such a cute little show. Like I said, I just love their sense of humor. It's just Pluto. those jokes are nice. Pluto. Um, so I think we're gonna go uh, ride Rocket ro Roller Coaster right now, um, and then they've got like a Lightning McQueen's Racing Aqua uh, Racing Aquatomy. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit of uh, Walt One Man's Dream. We're gonna see where the see where the day takes us, and then we got Rise of the Resistance. Uh, it said 75 minutes from now. Is probably is the approximate wait time uh, when we can start going over there. Yeah, Pluto's throwing the bone to himself. That's hysterical. Pluto's Pluto's right over there by the Brown Derby, and then right over here is Donald. Apparently, he's watering some plants or something. <laughs> Woo! 
You wave. We were going to do rock and roller coaster and stuff, but then we went over there and it was a 65 minute wait. I think Tower of Terror broke down, so like everyone in that line also went over there, so it jumped up like 25 minutes from where it was. Uh, so now I think we're gonna do Walt Disney Presents, the one man stream stuff instead, uh, and then maybe go back to Toy Story area. I'm not totally sure, but yeah, yeah. we're just gonna kind of wander. Figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite photo of Walt Disney ever. This, him walking through the castle. I have a print of it somewhere. I need to put it up in my office, but I just love that photo. There's a lot of good ones, but that's my absolute favorite. Him by himself, walking through the castle, with hands in his pockets, just looking out on everything. This is a pretty solid one too. This is Walt in his like golden years. Some of the, that was when he was at his best, I feel like. By the way, if you guys ever want to read like a really in-depth, like deep dive biography into uh, Walt Disney, there's one called Walt Disney by a guy named Neil Gabler. It's like a thousand pages. It's really a deep dive into his, I've read it twice now actually. Um, but it's, 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 a, it's, it's a little dry, but it's super interesting and it really kind of goes through all of it. It's kind of like Washington, like the Ron Chernow biography and stuff like yeah, that. They're, they are just deep, deep dives. So we are in line for, what is it called? Like Mickey and Minnie? Animation. Yeah, short. like, yeah. Something like that, some kind of animated short. So we're gonna see that as ladies while the two gentlemen ride Star Tours because we're both like, meh. Sometimes it makes me feel sick. <laughs> And she's not tall enough anyway, so it worked out. So we're gonna see what this is all about. I don't know what used to be here. I'm kind of curious because it's connected to the Frozen show. I don't remember what was ever here, so I'm just, we'll just see what we see. Uh, this theater is so cool, and I've never been in here, and the cutest part are the seats. <laughs> it's so cute. Yay. It's R2D2. We're doing Star Tours. Galactic regulations require all passengers... The whole idea, by the way, if people don't know, this is like supposed to be like an airport kind of thing. So like there's arrivals and departures up there. And you're going on a trip. Okay, so we just saw these little stuffed animals here. There's so many good ones. Look, they have Dante from Coco. Love that. Miguel. Miguel, classic. She, that's she a, just that's like a Coco. big character, though. I like, love Then you have Baby movie. Dory, which is awesome. But then the most obscure from Inside Out, I can't think of his name. Oh, um, um, uh, what's the song he sings uh, when they're trying to get the wagon? Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. Oh, well, okay. we'll, we'll put it on the screen. It, but I have not seen him anywhere else. This is Where is this? This is uh, Hollywood it's Studios, the, obviously. Yeah, on Sunset uh, Boulevard at the start when you're walking down right on the left, like the first yeah. shot. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the sign here in a second. But I just yeah. love that they're so like underappreciated, underrepresented and a giant, animals. Oh, this one's Pixar soft. Ball. Dang, that's like a pillow. I should get that for my office, actually. To <laughs> play on it. He actually smells like cotton candy, like for real. And I'm pretty sure that's one of his traits in the in the thing, in the movie, is that he smells like cotton candy. So also, cool. it's Richard Kind. How can I remember that it's Richard Kind who does the voice and I can't remember his actual name? <laughs> it's Bing Bong. Bing Bong. Bing Bong is his name. It's it. Fifteen dollars. Might buy this. I like having like a small wallet while we're in the parks because I don't carry it. You just need it a few me. things yeah. with you, yeah. But when you're like popping into a store, if he stayed out with her or whatever, this one has the castle, which is cute. And then it's got all kinds of Disney Park stuff. We've got like Tiki Room, Dapper Dan's, the castle, of course, teacups, uh, I guess more Tiki Room, I don't know, but like Jungle Cruise, Haunted Mansion. Is it all Magic Kingdom stuff? I, oh no, there's the Yeti Pirates. So very cute. I'm like, yeah. And they are, so good. we were double checking. These are laid out differently on every single one. So, so you, I kind of picked on the where, one I yeah. liked. Yeah. You might get a different pattern depending on uh, yeah. where the fabric's landed. But how so. cute is this? And they have like a Minnie and Mickey one. Here, I'll show you. This is another one I was thinking about, which is really cute with like the snacks. Six cigarettes. On it. What are those? Churros? They <laughs> Churros. <laughs> but they have like a Pirates one. They have a Minnie Mouse one. They're all so cute. But I also might just use this in real life. <laughs> Yeah, thinking about it, I'm like, honestly, in my purse, I don't really need, like, I feel like your ID, bigger, credit like, card. these are really cute, but I'm like, do I really need that much room? Like, I don't have a checkbook in there the way my mom, <laughs> you, I was going to say used to, but I think mom, I think you still, still does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You really, I mean, you but ID, credit card. That's I about don't it. even usually have cash. Like, yeah, that's I'm about sure, it. But don't. Okay. So this might happen. Let's do it. All right. The boarding pass for uh, Jessica and Michael and Cher just came up. Actually, it was all of our boarding pass, but I rode it earlier in the week with my mom, so I'm going to let them go on it. And Gigi and I are going to go do the uh, Lightning McQueen Racing Academy, which is like a fun kind of show kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I think we're, it's going to be fun. You're, I think she's going to like it. She loves like the race cars. Every time she sees one on like a bus or whatever, she goes, the race cars. So I think she's really going to like it. 
Wow, this is gonna be so fun. In which event did Cruz Ramirez have her racing debut? Crazy Eight, World Grand Prix, or Florida Five. So after uh, Lightning McQueen, uh, Gigi and I went into some gift shops because the second we walked out, it started pouring down rain. So I quickly covered her up in there, threw on my own poncho, and then <laughs> Jessica texted me and said, uh, Rise of the Resistance uh, broke down. So well, we got to ride the first few things of it. If you've ridden it, you know what I mean? And then we got in a certain room and they were like, ah, sorry. Close but it down, they gave yeah. us all free trash can ponchos. Which is, which good. is nice. Pouring down pouring down down yeah. yeah. So and then we decided to meet. To yeah. Whenever, so. Yeah. Later this afternoon when it, yeah, it reopens. Uh, we're going to try and do uh, Pizza Rizzo here, uh, which is one of my favorites. Jessica's not a big fan, but I love it. Pizza's it's like. I love it. It's my favorite kind of like just greasy pizza. It's so good. Um, so we're gonna try and beat the rain a little bit, go inside, eat a little lunch, and then uh, you guys are gonna go try and finish right. finish up yeah, the we'll ride. Yeah. <laughs> also, you can see Mama Melrose restaurant over there. Uh, when this area originally opened, the, the concept was it was going to be like a Muppets area, um, and then Jim Henson, was, like the last thing he worked on was the uh, Muppets Vision Muppet Vision 3D, uh, and then he passed away around that same time. Um, then sort of the relationship soured with. Uh, the Henson company and with uh, the Muppets and with Disney. So they ended up t converting this into Mama Melrose. They created a new backstory and that, this, then the other. But it's supposed to be, I think it was run by Gonzo, uh, a pizzeria run by Gonzo. But here we are all these years later and Disney eventually yeah. bought out uh, the Muppets. So they now own the Muppets outright. And now we have Pizza Rizzo. All right, you guys oh. did rise. Thoughts, questions, comments? It's unbelievable. It took my breath away. What was your favorite part? I don't want to ruin it. Uh, Does that mean you hated it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no favorite I, parts. There's I, just so much. There's so much to try and so like. I just felt like you were actually in the movie. It looks like you're on a star destroyer, and I think I don't know, like going underneath the legs of the ATATs. Like right. Like That's full so cool. full like, size. Wow. Yeah. Uh, they, awesome. They, they spared no expense on that one. You can tell. Yeah. Uh, so sweet. So yeah. sweet. All right, we scooched our way over to uh, Magic Kingdom via Grand Floridian. We saw a bus for Grand Floridian, hopped there, and then got on the monorail over to Magic Kingdom. And uh, we're going to spend... It was really fast. The bus was there in a minute, and the yeah, monorail was there. So it was, yeah. like, weird yeah. fast. So we're going to uh, just enjoy the evening here, and then this is our final day in the parks today. But it's a good way to end being here in the uh, Magic Kingdom. Oh, it's the only way to end it, you know? Uh, yeah, I would, I would agree with that. We're doing our second Starbucks run of the day. It's that kind of day. Trying to pack a lot in this final uh, final day. Also that Magic Kingdom, You Are Here series mug. Just got it. Oh, oh, it's so ghost. good. Ghost. The hitchhiking ghost, it's the best part. Whoa. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it, it's so good. Admiring the landscaping. I always talk about quiet little pockets of the park. This is one of them. All right, we're gonna hit up some classics on our final evening here. We're gonna do Pirates again because obviously, so good. You guys got the same thing? Yeah, the pineapple vanilla you know, swirl. Gold like it. the classic, yeah. but with the swirl. Tyler, you got pineapple flow? Pineapple flow. I went over, I hadn't tried the like orange and vanilla mix, whatever yeah. they call it. I had to get mine from uh, Sunshine Tree Terrace and they over there don't have Dole Whip, so it's kind of funny. Yes. Aw, the Winnie the Pooh characters are up there meeting and greeting right now. Above the uh, train station. That's so cute. Uh, Jessica and them are gonna go do a uh, um, 
Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, and uh, Gigi and I are taking a nice leisurely stroll around the park, although we might hop on the people mover really quickly if the line's pretty short. Um, just cause, why not? It sounds like a good way to spend a little bit of time to me. Oh yeah, it's only like a five minute wait. We are definitely doing the people mover. Are you excited, Gigi? Yeah, this is gonna be so fun. Good way to spend an afternoon <laughs> while you're waiting for somebody else on a ride. I can think of very few places I'd rather be. What else do you see? Is that a rocket ship? Oh, let's go around and see if we can see it. Here we go! It's always so cool to see it, huh? Say bye-bye, castle. Also being here, uh, I'm reminded that I saw Humphrey the Bear over here, and I'm reminded <laughs> that uh, a few days ago I said I was going to talk about Humphrey the Bear. That is Humphrey the Bear, and we're going to talk more about him probably in tomorrow's vlog, but maybe the next day. But now you've seen him here in Storybook Circus, that's one of the places he is. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more, just, just you wait. And I never did, I meant to do it over at the Wilderness Lodge, and uh, I never I, I never remembered to do it, so I'm going to do it right here. So the quick uh, snapshot is that uh, Humphrey the Bear was one of the only few uh, to ever have his own shorts. Like Mickey Mouse had some shorts, um, uh, or his own series of shorts, I guess I should say. Um, and like Donald Duck had some, um, but he's one of the only ones to have it. And he had like, I think three, maybe four. Uh, and then they sort of canceled uh, his shorts. They didn't do any more. Um, but when Wilderness Lodge opened, they decided to use him as the official mascot of Wilderness Lodge. So when you go over there, you still see Humphrey the Bear mugs and all that kind of stuff. But he, to date, is the only or Wilderness Lodge, I guess I should say, is the only resort to have an official mascot. And that official mascot is Humphrey the Bear. And so you see him on all different kinds of stuff over at Wilderness Lodge, but I think it's kind of cool. And then you see him represented here, so he's in a few different spots and we show him. So there he is, and then you see him on some mugs and stuff over at Wilderness Lodge and all kinds of stuff. But now you see, if you see Humphrey the Bear anywhere, you'll know uh, a little bit about him there. So yeah, if you look here, you probably see a lot of this. Like, look, you got Goofy, you got Dumbo, you got Casey Jr. coming down the track, you got Pete. I would like three things, please. And then you got Humphrey, and everyone's like, oh, I know those four, but no one knows uh, no one knows who Humphrey is. Now you know. Tell all your friends and be that annoying friend like I am who knows too much <laughs> and everyone's tired of hearing from. Also, uh, I know how impressed you guys are with the uh, Pete voice. Pretty proud of my Pete voice. And so, <laughs> whenever Gigi's watching like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, he was like, I would like three carrots for you to go Bye to the zoo. I don't know, whatever it is. He's always got the money. One, two, three carrots. I know, I know, I know. You guys are all very impressed. Um, Gigi and I are gonna go ride Dumbo and then it's gonna be time for us to go to our dining reservation over at uh, Jungle Skipper Canteen. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I also do uh, guest on voice, but uh, you'll have to wait another day for that. So we are at Skipper Canteen. We just checked in, we're just kind of Waiting to go inside to eat some dinner. Oh, it's supposed to be a fan. That's funny. It's supposed to be a fan. We also just rode uh, mine train, Seven Dwarfs mine train. Ended really fast though. We really—it's just such a short ride. It is. And we waited the full like 45 minutes. So. Yeah, but it was fun. It's so smooth. Yeah, it was. It's cute, and the witch at the end is still my favorite part. It's fantastic. She's tackling. She tackled right past the past. She knew you were coming. Okay, we're at the Jungle Skipper Canteen, and I'm already liking it more than I did the last time we were here. Uh, a few things I want to go over really fast. First of all, they have a Kungaloosh beer, which is in reference to the uh, old adventures that they used to have. Which we that. both just read about in a book, and so we're like geeking out. It's we awesome. never saw it because it yeah. closed before. Yeah. Um, in uh, Pleasure Island, that's where it was. Um, and so that refers to that. Second thing I've noticed uh, up here 
I don't know if you can see those there, those are birds up on the chandelier, which I'm sure is a reference to the fact that the Tiki Room was originally going to be a restaurant. And then somebody, some Imagineer, maybe he's even Walt himself, said that it was a bad idea to have birds above them. Because he said people didn't want birds above them because they might go uh, number two into their food, even if they're already animatronic, people didn't want that. Um, also, they they had better things this time. I remember last time we were here, there was like nothing I really wanted. They had like pork chops, which I ended up getting. I'm not even a big pork chop fan. This time there's like three things on the menu that I'm like, that sounds really good. Yeah, I'm going to get a bad Thai. Ooh, these Thai noodles look really good. I got chicken and tofu. Yeah. You got yours with just tofu. You got yours with chicken. just chicken. She chicken. And she got chicken. Chicken with the sauce on the side. Yeah, they said the sauce is pretty spicy. We will let you know. <laughs> All right, so two things. Uh, first thing, I have noticed a ton of people with the little red thing on their uh, name tag that says, earning my ears. Um, so they're, oh, they're training so many people right now, everywhere from the buses to like even in the in the gift shops, I've seen a bunch. And uh, we're here at Skipper Canteen as we were leaving. There's like three people with the little red thing. So they're, they are definitely bringing on a lot of new people right now. Um, second thing, I, I really like dinner. I liked it I way, did I'm way so more glad. than I did a few years yeah, ago. I'm so, it's been a few years since we've done it, and I'm so glad we did it again. It was so good. We got the, the pad thai noodles, and then you got the chicken. Both were awesome. Oh, what did we drop? Oh, just a leaf. Just a leaf. Just a leaf. Just a leaf. Also a um, So I think we're going to head back to the Wilderness Lodge and say goodbye to the castle. Maybe I try and pack up a little bit tonight. Say goodbye to the castle. Um, we do it every time? Every time. Uh, pack up a little bit tonight and then finish up in the morning, and then tomorrow we go home. So we'll see what we do tomorrow. We'll probably vlog a little bit tomorrow, uh, but we'll end tonight we'll here. Onto this. Yeah. yeah. So good night. Good night. <laughs> So last morning here at Wilderness Lodge and we, uh, late last night, we are like, I wonder if Whispering Canyon has any uh, resis open. So we checked and we snagged one. So we're gonna eat at Whispering Canyon Cafe for breakfast this morning. Whoop, whoop. Meow, meow, meow. It's fascinating. But it is fascinating. I'm like, is it true? But I'm like, All right, we got our food. We ended up, you can do like a lighter side, the heritage or the carnivore. Um, and it's like family style. So if you each order a different one, you can each get your own little skillet. We all ordered the uh, heritage one, which is like the the basic classic. And so bounty this is what we got. Platter, we got all yeah, bounty platter. We got all kinds of good stuff: biscuits and gravy. Awesome. Ooh, let's dive in. So we had a few hours before we needed to head to the airport. So we're gonna come here, spend a little time at the pool, and also they have these uh, floaties, like I mentioned in the uh, an earlier vlog. So we're gonna give these a try. That way we didn't have to dig ours out from uh, the suitcase. And then we'll know if next time, like, if it works. If we even need to bring bring, bring hers, hers, yeah, because it's a different style, but I think it should still work. Like this, um, this but yeah, so we thought, well, what better way to spend a few hours than at the pool before we get uh, go to the airport? And we called down to uh, the front desk, which is actually Disney guest services now. It's all like a centralized line. But we called down and said, can we get a late checkout? And they were like, yep, you're all set for uh, 1230. Easy peasy. So we've got even more time in the room without having to take our stuff to the uh, to the bell desk and all that. So it worked out really well. All righty. It is almost 1230. So we're kind of packing up here. Watching a few last minute uh, Mickey cartoons and uh, just saying goodbye to this amazing view that we've had over the last few days. We're about to uh, go downstairs and hitch a ride to the airport. <laughs> this really is like one of the best views I've ever had in Disney, especially at, well, or, I'm sorry, especially at the Wilderness Lodge because you get that beautiful Bay Lake back there. You get the uh, you get the pool here, there's a waterfall right over there. Actually, the, the room that uh, Michael and Cher were in originally was right over there, and then they had that flooding incident, so they had to move, but that really was great because they had Bay Lake, the pool, and the little water feature right there. So that's like the move, <laughs> you can make that happen here in the uh, in the courtyard area. But like in the evening when the thing would come up, the electrical pageant, whatever they call it, it was right there. We had a perfect view of it. It's absolutely wonderful.
All right, we got to the airport with plenty of time, and so we are going to eat a little Mickey D's. She's got some hummus over there. Hummus next and to, uh, and She was pumped that the pretzels are shaped like donuts. She kept saying donuts. I'm like, honey, we're not getting donuts. She's like, no, oh, the pretzels. I'm like, oh. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, little Mickey D's to tide us over. We've got like, what, an hour, well, 40 minutes. A little less, yeah. But um, our gate's like right now. There's yeah. So we're gonna do that, and then we are going to uh, head, head on home. <laughs> And then maybe okay? pick up no, maybe pick up Pinocchio on the way once we get once yes, we get back. Yes, he's to at my parents' house, so we could like pick him up tonight or tomorrow morning. But we're like, we miss him. Probably yeah. gonna, But side note, the best dipping sauce, and you can fight me on this for McDonald's chicken nuggets, is pure unbridled honey. It's the best. That's what I as a kid. I, I always had that as a kid. Me like, too. Is that a, Why is that a kid thing and not an adult? I still like it as an adult. I like their honey mustard though. I will. I will. I will say. And it's not like. I mean, we are right in the trash can. Um, I mean, I like like honey mustard, ranch, like I like it all. But honey for just for McDonald's. Something, something, yes. yeah. All right, with our bellies full of McDonald's, <laughs> we made it onto. Now, now we're very sleepy. Yeah, we made it onto the plane though. That's good. This girl's anxiously waiting to watch her <laughs> iPad. She's been so patient. Like in just a minute. Yes, you can. Her little headphones. They're pretty awesome, Amazon baby. There's like it's Bluetooth and. It yes. also has the, like, you know, manual the analog plug, so yeah. if it ran out of battery or whatever, you can do it that way too, but it's, it's really easy. And it works really well. She liked having them on the whole year. Like can you put them on? What do you say? Please. Yes, you may. Alrighty. We made it to our home airport. All was just dandy. Our flight was delayed. I think we mentioned earlier, like, 20 minutes or so. It wasn't bad. So, all worked out, and we've got all of our stuff out here. And Tyler, we parked here um at the airport which you have to pay like every night but it's there's you know different lots you can park at we parked at like the cheapest one but uh he's got to catch a shuttle to go get the car and during normal times especially like before we had her or like when we travel without her um we would just you know grab our luggage and get on the little shuttle to go to the parking lot but sometimes it is easier to just have one person go get it leave all your luggage and then bring the car and then we I'm able I'm over explaining this then I'm able to just load the luggage in our car and just go anyway um but I was saying to Tyler while we were waiting for the baggage to come in I was like if Genevieve doesn't fall asleep on the 30 minute car ride home I will be astounded she is not someone that like falls asleep in the car very often at all but she is the loopiest I've ever seen she's so tired and it's only like you know five oh it's like six but uh it's just been a long trip you know she's just exhausted so we'll see. But I just feel like this has been such an incredible trip and it was so awesome to have this trip both with her Nana, my mother-in-law, but then also to have this trip with my brother and my sister-in-law. They, I feel, I hope that they're going home feeling like, wow, Disney World's amazing, I wanna go back. We'll see, but I was telling Tyler too, like I feel like when, like the first time I ever went to Disney World was as an adult, like over 10 years ago. And I feel like it took me a few like months after my trip to like look back on the trip and be like, oh my gosh, like that was incredible. I want to go back. But the first time you go, I do feel like it can feel overwhelming because there's just so much you have to learn and stuff. So anyway, I hope they loved it. I, I think that they did, but I hope they want to come back in the future too. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just waiting on him. It feels really nice. <laughs> I, we live in Indiana and it's really nice because it's summer here. It's like 85, 88. Uh, but the humidity is not crazy because it's not Florida. And you had better believe now that we're home, we're doing the quickest dinner ever. She is already in bed. She is so tired. And we're just going to make this like cheesy ranch chicken thing you just throw in the pot. But we were both craving <laughs> like orange chicken and egg rolls or wontons. And we thought we had frozen orange chicken, but we didn't. So we still are going to do some wontons with this just because we both had it on the brain. And now I'm like, well, now I need to eat it. So super, super quick dinner. Also, we are planning on doing like a Disney haul. I was just starting to unpack some of the stuff we bought. Uh, we are planning on doing a Disney haul very soon. So if it is not up yet on his channel, stay tuned. And if it is up, we will link it below and up in that little eye. Uh, Cause we did get a lot of things. We talked about some of the stuff we bought like in the vlogs, but some things we bought without vlogging about it. So I'm excited. We got just fun stuff for all of us. And that's always exciting. And one of my favorite things is like looking at all of our souvenirs and being like, okay, like this is what we got. I don't know, I'm weird like that. But anyway, check it out if it's up. Welcome home. <laughs> so glad to be home though, really. 
Yeah, it's very nice. My garden, by the way, is thriving out there. I went out there first thing when we got home. I brought in the luggage and went out there, and it's, mm -hmm. it's looking pretty good for not doing anything to it. For no, that that's awesome. Like and you weeks. literally planted it like the day before we left. Yeah. Because I was like, if I don't do it before we leave, I was already a month late. And I'm like, if I don't do it now, yeah. when we come home, I'm not doing a garden this year. So I'm glad they have done I was just thinking, home. though. Oh, we played this game, by the way, where like when we're coming back from a trip, you know, you're a little sad, obviously, that your trip is over and stuff, but we'll play this game where we just go back and forth sharing, like, something we're excited about uh, being able to do or whatever once you're home. Mm -hmm. So, like, you were talking about you couldn't wait to tend See to your garden. garden and, yeah. and I was like, I'm excited to cook just because I just missed cooking because yeah. obviously we ate out. I came in and saw my piano and I said... I think I missed you most of all. <laughs> <laughs> just things like that. But it's yeah. kind of a nice way to like frame your mind so that you're like still excited frame to be home mind. too. You know what I mean? There is something lovely about being home yeah. and just having that home base. So, so you know it's a good trip though. I feel like it's like you are excited to go. You had an awesome time there, but you're like excited to get home. Mm -hmm. You're not like dying to get home, but you're excited to be home. Too. So, yeah. so that's, that's, that's right. It can be both. It can be both. Anyway, but we'll make we'll a, sign make off here. A yeah. super quick dinner. And oh, yeah. I just showed it. Oh, it's not blooming. I should probably turn that heat down. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we're going right. to, yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. We're just going to end it. Just stop it. Just hey, pause it. Hey, if right you watch... Down. If you if you watched all of these Disney vlogs, wow. I, I didn't guess, even watch them I, all. I edited them. <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice. And, uh, yeah. That really is it. Anything else? I don't well, know how to end this. It was such a long journey. Big gulps, huh? Well, well see, you see you later. later. <laughs>